What did they do to this chair? Oh my goodness. They just cut that thing up to pieces. <laughs> we have found these before, actually a few times, and uh, we have found brand new ones that we still use, so they are very comfy. If you guys are new to the channel, we do donate 10% of all of our scrap money to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. So we will collect the receipts throughout the month and then make our donation. And uh, let us know if you guys want to have that back in the videos. I mean, we have been doing that since, you know, we have our scrapping channel. Um, but let us know if that's something you guys want to see in the videos again. Because we used to put that in the videos, but... Yeah, let us know what you think. Alrighty, so as you saw right there, Mr. Volt found an aluminum radiator. Not bad, not bad. Got some good scrap right there. So some of these will have aluminum, some will have copper. Either way, they can be scrapped. And you can make some money off of it too, which is always nice. Alrighty, let us know if you guys ever find some tools, like good tools that you can actually keep, you know, using. Uh, that's one of the things that Mr. Volt finds a lot. So he finds a lot of really good tools and it just saves money like that, you know. Not sure why, you know, people throw them away sometimes. Of course, sometimes, you know, they need repairs, but other times they're perfectly fine. And someone can still use them. So we got lots and lots of stuff in here. So of course you guys can use the tools. You can scrap them if you really want to. You can sell them. It just depends on the condition, the items, stuff like that. I want to give a big shout out to our member, Donna Mitchell. She is a member of all three channels. Thank you so much for your support each and every month. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Volt found a Sharpie. Let us know in the comments if you guys are scrappers and what you guys scrap. <laughs> We've been doing this for a few years now and I'm telling you like the stuff that we have found is just crazy like I was just responding to a comment earlier um, because this person didn't really believe the stuff that was shown in the videos and I get it you know I understand sometimes it's hard to believe what's thrown away um, but all of the stuff is real I mean whatever we show you know we show it it's real it's out there so, just some of the stuff that we have found is ridiculous. So, I was letting that person know, you know, that we have found, like, thousands of dollars worth of tools. We have found tons and tons of stuff from retail dives. You know, tools is a lot of, you know, industrial stuff that you guys see on here. And some of the stuff is worth a lot of money. So, pro tip right there, if you guys, you know, scrap, dumpster dive, check out industrial areas. So if you guys need to make some extra money like that, most of the stuff that we find for like retail stuff, we donate. And then we haven't done it for a while, um, but it, you know, it does take a long time for an, um, apartment dives. So that one is a little different too. You know, it's kind of cool because there's stuff that is just random stuff. Like I mentioned in that comment that I told you guys, um, we have found a silver ingot from apartment dives so like seriously like they just threw away silver we have found money we have found like designer clothes perfumes all kinds of stuff from apartment dives too and you're gonna see differences like you know like um, food package stuff that stuff gets thrown out constantly so it doesn't sit like some people might think so which is why like you know stores they are constantly clearing out their shelves clearing out their inventory and they have to get it out because they have more stuff coming in you know uh, apartment dives it's like more personal items you know we don't go for food there um, but we do show like stuff that we find in apartment dives would be like 
clothes, shoes, home goods, stuff like that. And the occasional silver ingot. Industrial is what we show you guys on here, basically. So, if you guys dumpster dive, I mean, just be prepared. You're going to find a whole lot of stuff. You know, all kinds of different stuff. So, it's always a surprise. Which is why I ask, you know, what your guys' favorite things to find. Craziest things you guys have found. Stuff like that, because there's stuff thrown away everywhere. <laughs> So already Mr. Bolt has a box full of goodies, lots of good stuff. We just like recently found like a bunch of Milwaukee tools also. So I'm telling you like, you throw out some good stuff. And then yes, he has been using his step stool now. So. Recently, he's been using his step stool, and then also when he goes scrapping at night, he will wear like a reflective vest. So he says that that helps too. And always be careful if you guys step on things. I think it was the last video we put out. Mr. Volt got, you know, a cut on his ankle when he stepped on the uh, sink. So just be careful. I think that should be a given when you're out scrapping or dumpster diving because it can be dangerous. Occupational hazards happen all the time. This dumpster is cool. So stuff like this you can just step on and make it more compact. Because you want to get like the most that you can fit into your car, truck, van, trailer, whatever you have. You guys don't have a lot of space. I'm telling you, non ferris you can fill up like a tote and get some good money. So that's why we say we you know we donate 10% to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, as you see on the screen. <laughs> that's a mouthful. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, because on our main channel, I mean, we show a lot of stuff that we donate on um, scrapping. I mean, it's most of the stuff either goes to scrap or we can use it or even stuff that we can sell so that's why we just donate the percentage so that way we have like a little bit of donations like on every channel every, you know, area that we cover dumpster diving scrapping even some of the stuff on ebay they do have an option that you can donate also so it just depends on the listing though i've mentioned this before but in case anybody's new to the channel um you can also donate to charity through ebay which is really nice and if you're new that is our trailer mr walt goes out and does some scrapping fills it up he'll sort through put the non ferris aside and then just basically like when it's full of like metal, he'll take it in. Um, but like I mentioned, like if you fill up a tote or a tote and a half, I think that was like the last load that he took in. It was like a tote and a half of like good stuff. And he got like almost, I think it was um, almost $200. Maybe about $200 worth just from the non-Ferris for like a tote and a half. Compared to a full trailer of metal, and I think he got like 40 something. Like, yeah, around there. Ah, he, he brings in a lot, so it's always in and out. But that's pretty much what it is like $40, $60. Um, if he's got like some super heavy metal, like four, he can get like maybe a good like $100 to $130 just with metal for the trailer full. But if you prefer, non ferrous is good. <laughs> I think Mr. Bolt's gonna like go through this thing right here. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> That's really big. And still, that one piece left behind will not be forgotten. It's 
pretty full. So, yeah, there's a lot of scrap that's thrown out every day, all day, all the time. So just keep looking. Find your route and stick to it. <laughs> yeah, we've been seeing a lot of scrappers too. You know, but even though there's a lot of scrappers, there's still a lot of metal out there. And if you let people know what you're doing, you know, they might even call you when they have metal. So if there's like small businesses, let them know. Of course, clean up after yourselves. They do notice. Trust me, they do. Uh, let them, you know, let them know what you do and, you know, you could have pickups and, you know, just do it like that. another thing too like the way Mr. Bolt like compacts everything he's able to fit a lot more in the trailer so yep. you don't need like a huge space to bring in uh, some scrap metal that for one stop. Mr. Bolt's gonna go back for his stepladder. Double check. He cleaned that dumpster out. <laughs> now on to the next one. We got some canes in here. Canes is really good. Okay, that is really heavy. <laughs> super, super heavy. Chunky, chunky metal. It looks like some kind of motor or something. It's like really heavy. <laughs> He's putting it in the other parts. Maximize your space. <laughs> okay, so, um,. I remember this part right here when I came home and saw the trailer was like filled up and you're gonna see right now just <laughs> how big this gets. <laughs> Mr. Volt's getting his straps ready because this thing is big. is huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. This trailer can fit a lot. Alrighty, so Mr. Volt is going to have his strap set up right now. It's going to fit perfectly with this big old metal cage thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. The stuff that you find scrapping. Make sure to leave your comments. We do pick, um, I'd say about three subscribers at random. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three, but we'll do three. Three subscribers at random for our next video. So make sure to leave your comments. If you guys are new here, leave your comments below. And let us know you are brand new to the channel. We will give you guys a shout out, reply to your comments, and welcome you to the channel. Make sure your load is secure before you drive away. You do not want this big old thing falling down. Safety first, people. And pick up your mess. 
<laughs> Luckily there's some dumpsters nearby you can just throw that trash into. More on the way. <laughs> Alrighty, well, like I said, leave your comments, like this video, give it a big, big, big thumbs up. It really does help. Helps the channel. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, have a great day. Bye.